Joining me now is the technology writer and broadcaster, Kate Bevan. How can we trust them when they say no access to financial data? That sounds like wishful thinking to me, actually, because it sounds as though they've got in through social engineering, so they've had access to corporate logins, and potentially that's access to the whole system. So, of course, eBay wants us to believe that it's, it's fine and it's safe, but we just don't know that. So what does hacking mean these days? I mean, is, is it a bloke at a, in his bedroom hacking be, into eBay? It or? could be a bloke in his bedroom. Um, this sounds like it. they've got access to logins, and so they've been, they've been into the entire system. Hacking means getting in. These days it means a breach. It means getting into a system. It means getting information out of it for whatever those purposes are. It can be for identity theft, for financial fraud, for an attack. It can be for anything, really. And, and I mean, is there any evidence that people are getting better at having good passwords? No, not really. I mean, you know, everybody knows what good password hygiene is. It means you should never use the same password twice. You shouldn't use simple dictionary words. You should you know, use a password manager to look after your password. But that's just nonsense, isn't exactly. it? I mean, we've got so many logins. Of course you can have the same login for yeah. at least a few of them. Of course you do. And, and people are really bad at it. And that's in some ways why these are so bad. Because if you've used the same email address and password combination on eBay as in other places, potentially a hacker's got access to all that other stuff, to your, to your email account, to, to anything else, to your Amazon account. What do you think of the delay? I mean, if, if this happened in late February and early March, or between late February and early March, they would have known almost immediately. You can, it actually be a while before you find out that you've been compromised. I mean, sometimes you just don't know. Sometimes the hackers will tell you they've been compromised. So what we don't know is um, when they knew and also when they discovered how much damage had been done. Because also you've got to go through your entire systems and find out what the damage is, how, how widespread it is. Um, it's a little while since we've had a really big one. But, mm. but we have now had huge numbers of really big brands. Yep compromising our private personal yeah. data. This has got our addresses. Yep. And this is a particularly bad one because it's got things like our dates of birth and our addresses. Uh, everybody's going to have a breach at some point. The, the point is, how do you manage that? How do you look after your data that you've got? What's your encryption levels? And for users, how do you look after your data as well with your passwords? But, I mean, what do you think that really does to whether we can trust brands like this, especially com commerce brands, yeah. where you've got your bank account details or your credit cards in there? I mean, this ought to be taking us back a long way in terms of trust. It ought to be. Um, I think basically you can't trust anybody because at the end of the day, everybody is going to have a breach, whether it's a small provider or a big provider. At some point, that's going to happen. It's just inevitable because there are so many ways into a system. Um, eBay's had a particularly bad way in, it seems, if it's true that they've been through social engineering, but everybody's going to have a breach at some point. So you have to, you have to be your backstop. You have to be careful with your passwords and your information. It's down to you, really. Kate Bevan, thanks very much. Thank you.